I am in the uh, beautiful estate of Wingfield Estate in St. Kitts. Uh, this was actually established in uh, 1625. It's the oldest um, estate in St. Kitts and Nevis. And I'm gonna kind of walk through and show you a couple of things on this. It's, uh, it's up in the rainforest, it's beautiful. If you get a chance to come to St. Kitts, this is definitely one of the places you need to come here and also Brimstone Hill. Uh, there's uh, ruins here dating back, way, way back. Th these are the probably the, the oldest ruins that uh, you'll find in St. Kitts uh, and Nevis. I'm going to walk up here where you can kind of see it a little bit. Uh, this is outside of town in an area called Old Road. And um, they made uh, sugar cane here, uh, gr grew sugar cane years ago, and also rum. And... Um, What's kind of neat is uh, this estate had its beginnings in 1620 and then uh, acquired its uh, present name sometime after 1656. And uh, they uh, grew uh, tobacco, cotton, and dingo. And by 1682, extensive sugarcane cultivation had begun on the estate. And a new water-powered works to convert the cane juice into sugar was built on this particular site here. Throughout the 17th and 18th century, the estate lands expanded, as did the sugar factory. In addition to sugar, molasses and rum were produced for local consumption and export. While the cane was always harvested by hand, steam and uh, water power were in use at Winfield uh, by the eight, late 1850s. Both were in use until the 1920s when the works closed and the cane uh, grown on the estate was taken by railway to the new sugar factory in Basseteer. The works are now privately owned and are being restored as a heritage site for the community of St. Kitts and visitors. Uh, it's really interesting though because uh, they've got some, uh, uh, some very old antiques here. Uh, this is um, uh, uh, what's called a lime can, and uh, it's made uh, quite easily by slowly burning limestone rock, which is found on Brimstone Hill or Coral. And the, the kiln uh, was filled with um, alterations, layers of rock, or coral, and wood fuel. The heat from the burning wood drives off the carbon and uh, carbon dioxide and water contained in the, the rock itself, resulting in white, white powder. It's called a uh, quick lime. Uh, the kennel is actually uh, taped from top to bottom with what the uh, quick lime will automatically sink into the bottom of the kiln, where it can be uh, raked out, cooled, and then sorted out. Um, but, uh, You can see right here. Very old. It's very uh, tropical up here. This is uh, it's called Karen Copper. This copper was made in uh, Falkirk, Scotland by a company called Karen. The company was founded in 1759 and was a significant uh, participant in the Dust Revolution. And uh, by 1790, Karen employed in excess of 5,000 people. This established it is the largest foundry in Europe, if not the world. Karen was actually the first company worldwide to have its name synonymous with a product. Karenade cannons were used by Lord Nelson's flagship HMS Victory as well as by Wellington at the Battle of Waterloo. Uh, you are actually in fact uh, probably familiar with the Karen products. Karen produced the famous red telephone boxes and red uh, post boxes. Karen actually remains in business uh, as of today. And uh, this is some of the old grain uh, stacks. They got these all over the island. This one's very old here. Just a lot of history here. Just uh, very
pretty area out here. There's a lot of land here too. Uh, there's a mountain behind here. And uh, we're actually going to go up to Romney Manor. Uh, and uh, I wanted to show you something over here before I do that. This contraption here uh, is an aqueduct uh, water wheel. And here's a picture of it back in the around 1920. Uh, and this is an example of grinding cane using the water power here. This was a, a water wheel. A lot of jungle back here. This is a natural park preserve. So when you come out here, you can go hiking. It's really nice hike through the jungle here. Here, uh, I don't have time to show you in this video, but if you if you come to St. Kitts, you really should take a uh, trip coming through the jungle here. It's uh, really nice. Some of the advantages why I'm showing you this, like I'd mentioned in some other videos, um, is St. Kitts has uh, no income tax and no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax, and a property tax is 0.20% of whatever you're buying. So your property tax here is about, oh gosh, it's like about 12 to 15 times less than what you'd pay in New Jersey. Uh, and there is no income tax as far as St. Kitts goes on rental income. It, I'm here in November. I've got shorts and I rode my bike over here. So you can uh, see how nice the weather is here this time of year. It's like uh, beautiful. Not too hot, not too cold. Just perfect. Just beautiful out here. Um, walk down here a little bit and it will go up to... If you get a chance, you'll want to see also Carabelle Batik, which is a textile place here, uh, part of the estate. And uh, uh, and then you have the home, which is called Romney Manor. They're all nice types of walking trails through here. It's beautiful. Uh, also, uh, since I've come here, I uh, used to be on painkillers, but now uh, I use, uh, hadn't taken painkillers in years, because I used turmeric, ginger, uh, what's called neem. You got to look it up on the internet, N-E-E-M. It's a great, an they're great natural anti-inflammatories that you get from plants here. And haven't used an aspirin or nothing in years. This is called a, a custard apple tree. The leaves, when uh, steeped into tea, can reduce high blood pressure and diabetes. So you got anybody out there that's got some health problems and you want to go to a place and get off all your pills and stuff, check with your doctor, though, first. But if you go on the Internet, too, you can get some research on this. But uh, I use ginger, turmeric, neem, and black pepper, and also um, cayenne pepper, uh, Cayenne pepper is actually an anti-inflammatory, just like turmeric, ginger, and neem. And then the black pepper actually absorbs it in your body uh, a lot better. Uh, but uh, it's amazing. It's like, to me, it's like taking a couple of Advil, but you don't have any sort of side effects. Uh, but you, you need to check with a doctor before you, because I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you what's happened for me, and it's been great. I don't take any painkillers at all. Uh, and I've had three operations on an inguinal nerve that's been totally shot. A lot of people have had it or are in wheelchairs or can barely move. But I took to rehab, doing a lot of exercising and getting off painkillers. One of the worst things you can do is get hooked on painkillers. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up. 
here to Romney Estate. So I'm gonna show you this so you can kind of see what this looks like. Or what's called Romney Manor. When you come to St. Kitts, you can go all the way around the island if you want. And you can take these buses, they're called HA, H-A or H is on the license plate. And they go around the whole island and they're practically free. I mean, it costs you almost nothing to go around the island. If you go to the Southeast Peninsula or you go to places like Frigate Bay, you gotta take a taxi. Uh, but the high buses, like I said, they got H or either H-A on the back of the bus and they're green license plates. So we're gonna walk up here. These trees are just, you really have to be here to see how pretty this is. But this is definitely a place, if you come to St. Kitts, you need to come by here and just bring your hiking shoes and you go out here in the jungle. And it's so nice, you're all year round. It's never too hot and never too cold. You can wear shorts all year round. You don't get the real heat like you do in Panama. Panama, you have to have AC. I don't even use air conditioning here. Boy, it's beautiful here. You can hear the doves up there. And this is Carabelle Batik, kind of up here. This is a really old bridge. Um, this is the uh, Riverbank Ruins. It was rediscovered as recently as 2012. This exciting find appears to be part of both the original uh, pur purpose of Wingfield Commerce. And um, uh, so this, this is something that's been recently uh, found here. Some of this, the, they've actually dug this stuff up in the last few years. Some of it was dug up and uh, discovered. It was here for years and years and they just found out about it. This looks like an old, either a, a water duck or something coming through here. That's a real deep creek here. Okay, now, um, if you come to St. Kitts too, um, what, you, what I would do is, uh, get a taxi driver to take you if you want to stop in a lot of different places because the high bus won't stop but on the main road the taxis will take you right up to the place you want to go but um, what you need to do is uh, is let the taxi driver take you to certain places uh, Otley's is another good place it's got a lot of nice uh, places you can walk out in the jungle and uh, uh, and you do there are there are uh, land out here that's really good. I'd mentioned to you on another tape that uh, St. Kitts is going to be uh, they've passed laws and uh, they're going to be uh, if you're national of St. Kitts you have to look at the tape. I'm not going to go through that because I went through another tape, but uh, you can actually get in the uh, cannabis business, uh, but they made it real clear that you're going to have to be a national of St. Kitts. So one way to do that is become a citizen here. You can get citizenship in St. Kitts by just getting a property or making a contribution. And then you have all the rights that a regular citizen does, but you can't run for public office. That's it. The, the problem with most tax havens is it's very, very difficult uh, f to get in a lot of tax havens because like Bahamas, we were just talking, I was talking to somebody the other day about British Virgin Islands. These countries, it's very difficult to get citizenship in these places. There's no income taxes, so a lot of people want to get in them, but they're not gonna let you do it quick. In some places, it takes forever to get it done. Uh, Bahamas is pretty difficult to get citizenship. Um, and uh, the Cayman Islands, 
uh, has ways you can do it, but it's going to take you several years to do it, and you got to put in about four times more than St. Kitts, and uh, it's not going to, it's also a more expensive place to live. This is a lot cheaper for food, clothes, gasoline, things like this than the Caymans, Bermuda, Bahamas, um, places like the British Virgin Islands that are pure tax havens. One reason they're more expensive is they don't have a corporate income tax. Here they do, but you can set up a business without the corporate structure by setting up what's called an unincorporated business. And by doing that, having an unincorporated business, now it's set, you only pay 2% tax now on the business. That's two, one, two, that's all you pay. And then you have a deduction, big deduction before even that kicks in the 2%. But everything is a lot cheaper to buy. So uh, that's the key there. Uh, your food, clothes, everything's a lot cheaper. So you want to, uh, if you're looking for the, the cheapest overall tax, St. Kitts is cheaper than the other tax savings. Now I've done checking on it. It's, it's a big difference. I've got a good friend that uh, she, um, she actually uh, used to live in the... the uh, uh, British Virgin Islands and she was talking about how expensive it was there uh, just for food and gas and stuff like that compared to St. Kitts. That's a beautiful tree there. Hello. Uh, how you doing? Is that a neem tree, the big one? What kind of tree? This one is a salmon tree. This one, the big one, is a cedar tree. Salmon tree? Yeah. Well, that's a beautiful tree. I wonder how old that thing is. Uh, I don't know, but there's one up, up above there, which is over 450 years. Uh, I heard about that. That's uh, the that's real. One. When you go on, you'll say, I'll see it. Yeah. Yeah. I know which one you're talking about. Okay. Thanks. This is a neat little trail. You can uh, just take a taxi over here. If you want to take a hot bus, you can do that. It's almost free if you take one, but they'll drop you at the very, very, I don't think they come all the way up here. So you'll have a pretty good walk. Uh, you actually have to go all the way back to the main road. So if you don't like to walk, you might want to get a taxi up here or do like I do, just take a bicycle. Man, it's great places to ride around here. All right, that's the tree the guy was just talking about there. That is a real, that's the oldest tree up here. It is a beautiful tree. Very old. We'll walk up here where you can see it. We're only going to add this for a couple more, few more minutes. Just wanted to show you this estate. So when you come here, uh, you'll know something about it. And this is the Romney Manor, the house, which is the, the home of the textile place called Carabelle Batique. The, everything's handmade here in the textiles, pillows, shirts, all kinds of neat things. I don't know if they're still open with the coronavirus shut down here. Uh, walk around here. And this tree is beautiful. This is a 400 year old tree. Oh man, this is a beautiful tree. It's called Sammy, this uh, salmon tree, 400 years old. So this tree was probably built about the time this estate was set up. So no telling the stories this place could tell you. Oh man, it's just incredible. They have beautiful mango trees in here. And uh, uh, the mangoes here in St. Kitts are just the best. It's very difficult to find any place that you can buy mangoes. It's, it's good and they're very inexpensive here too. You can get these emery polys here. Oh, they're incredible. 
you can you can get them for sometimes 30 30 40 cents us a piece uh, so you compare that in the u.s a lot of your fresh tropical fruits here can actually be bought cheaper than the u.s walk up here looks like they're closed so we're just going to walk up where you can see this this is a uh, Romney Manor uh, 1626 and it's the home of Carabelle Batiques that tells you how old it is its origins date to 1626 when following the Carib Indian massacres, the Europeans were able to take over this location. The site was originally where King Tegerman, the Carib Indian leader, had his settlement. And this is the part I wanted to tell you. However, following the demise, Sam Jefferson, one of the original settlers, claimed it as his own. Here he established his residence called the Red Whore, the, the Red House. Uh, Sam Jefferson was the great, great, great grandfather of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States of America. By the mid 17th century, Sam Jefferson had sold part of Wingfield Estate to the Earl Romney. The Earl renamed the house Romney Manor, and the estate Romney's successful, successive Earls of Romney owned Romney's estate until the late 19th century. Over the centuries, the house gardens and grounds have changed considerably. Hurricanes, fires, termites, all kinds of things have changed it. And, uh, but uh, it's a beautiful estate here. You really need to come see this. You got really nice uh, ocean views up here too, way off in the distance. Way off here, it's incredible. Yeah, it looks like they're closed today. Also, folks, if you got, uh, you want to know more on, uh, we deal with uh, 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 quite a few countries. That we deal with citizenship by investment, residency by investment. If you go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and you can uh, get details on other countries, not just St. Kitts. Uh, but uh, one thing that's nice about St. Kitts is it allows dual citizenship, and it allows you... Uh, to get the passport without a language test and uh, you can get it in you know about four to six months the passport uh, we do have other passports you can get quicker but it won't be st kitts um, but this one here is the best in the caribbean as far as visa free travel and uh, it's the highest income wise per, per capita uh, forbes list is having more billionaires per capita than any country in the world except for monaco uh now's a good time to be buying here because uh as i mentioned before when properties go up here a lot is when the dollar plummets because it's cheaper to buy in other currencies at that point and you can see the ocean off in the distance look at that tree that is just incredible that's a beautiful tree and we just saw but Romney Manor as you can see that's it but they're closed uh, that's the textile and the reason they're closed is all the, the the airlines are closed up except for emergencies and then you have to go through a quarantine that's why nobody's here now but folks if you uh, want to know more like I said go to the website I mentioned www.citizenshipquickly.com and hit the top bar if you're interested in getting a problem solved. Uh, at the top it says apply with us. Hit that and then you get questions that come up. And then uh, hit the bar at the bottom. After you fill out the questions it says send it to us. And we'll help you get started. Don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button to the right of your screen. And also the notification bell to the right of the subscription button. And, uh, and don't forget to shoot us a comment. I'd like to hear from you. Uh, if you got a question or anything like that. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.